a significant and potentially alarming shift. Russian President Vladimir Putin has proposed changes that could redefine global nuclear engagement. Speaking on Wednesday, Putin articulated a broadened spectrum of scenarios under which Russia might deploy its nuclear arsenal. Notably, he suggested that an attack from a non-nuclear state, if supported by a nuclear power, would be construed as a joint attack. This redefinition holds serious implications amidst the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Where Western military aid plays a crucial role, Putin's remarks hint at a broader revision of Russia's nuclear doctrine, raising the stakes in an already tense international arena. As Ukraine continues to receive military support from the United States and other nuclear-armed allies, the possibility of Russia interpreting such actions as nuclear threats presents a complex challenge. Amid Ukraine's request for approval to use long-range Western missiles to strike military sites in Russia, the geopolitical chessboard is more treacherous than ever. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, currently in the United States to meet President Joe Biden, underscores the critical alignment of military strategies between Ukraine and its allies. Ukraine seeks to target bases within Russia believed to be responsible for launching missiles into Ukrainian territory. Against this backdrop, Putin's proposal could be seen as an effort to deter further Western involvement by substantially raising the potential consequences. Responses to Putin's stance have been swift, with Zelensky's chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, condemning Russia's reliance on nuclear threats to intimidate the international community. Historically, Ukraine has accused Russia of nuclear saber-rattling, aimed at dissuading allies from supporting Ukraine's defense efforts. The escalation of nuclear rhetoric underscores the urgency for diplomatic interventions to prevent a catastrophic miscalculation. China's role in this precarious situation is also noteworthy. As a key ally of Russia, China has urged restraint, with reports suggesting President Xi Jinping advised Putin against using nuclear weapons. This diplomatic pressure from China may serve as a counterbalance to Russia's aggressive posturing, though the global security landscape remains deeply unsettled. Following a Security Council meeting, Putin outlined a proposed significant revision to Russia's nuclear doctrine. This revision aims to clarify conditions under which Russia might consider nuclear weapon usage, especially in response to what it perceives as large-scale missile threats against its sovereignty. Putin's insistence that Russia would regard any aggression from a non-nuclear state when backed by a nuclear state as a joint assault highlights the escalating stakes. He reaffirmed that Russia's nuclear arsenal remains the bedrock of its national security, a declaration intended to reassure Russian citizens while issuing a stark warning to the international community. This nuanced stance introduces a layer of unpredictability to global nuclear deterrent strategies. The concept of mutually assured destruction has long been the cornerstone of nuclear-armed nations' deterrent strategies. However, the modern proliferation of tactical nuclear weapons Smaller warheads designed for targeted strikes with reduced radioactive fallout shifts the landscape. Putin's previous statements emphasized Russia's superior tactical nuclear arsenal compared to Europe, stoking fears of a potentially lower threshold for nuclear engagement. European nations, already on high alert, now face the daunting reality that their current early warning systems may be inadequate against this renewed threat. Putin's assertion that Europe lacks sufficient defenses amplifies the urgency for comprehensive security reviews and bolstered deterrence capabilities. In this fraught environment, the international community must navigate the minefield of nuclear diplomacy, balancing power dynamics to avert escalation.